We are down here at the Trinity River, hopefully gonna be hooking on to some Mondos. This is the same river that I was on when I was kayaking and that when I caught that giant buffalo carp all the way down the river, but, or all the way up the river. So uh, we're quite a ways down. I didn't bring the kayak. Hopefully we're gonna get on some fish here. So, what we got for bait is big old Danny Kings. That's what I always use. Wanna know something that really got me mad today is I was at Walmart, I had to go pick up some uh, catfishing hooks and they didn't have any of the springed ones. You know, I call it with the spring. Pretty much the bait keeping treble hooks. Treble hook with a spring in it to hold the bait. They didn't have any. I looked up and down that aisle for about a half hour could not find any so I had to buy this whole little kit just to get not even treble hooks like it comes with this stuff but I've used this stuff a thousand times but doesn't work it's garbage we'll chum the waters with it though but it does come with hooks and I've never seen these single prong hooks or I've never seen these single hooks before I've always used treble hooks but pretty much they have like you see here they have these springs normally this spring is on a treble hook but they got these guys so i might pull these off maybe and put them on a treble hook or i might just try the treble hook for a while or i mean might try the single hook for a while see how this works and stuff it does have a leader on there so we'll give these a shot as i dump all my weights it also comes with weights and stuff but i don't need any of that wouldn't have to buy any of this but i don't know where i put my catfishing bin <laughs> Well, work hard, boys. I left this uh, bait outside. <sighs> so, it's a little hard. Might need to put some water in there. Just to try to soften it up a little bit. Now it's nice and moist in there. I can pull it out. And just, that's a lot actually. What I have learned is less is better. I used to pack a bunch of meat on there, but what ends up happening is they just nibble it all off and it takes them forever to get down to the hooks because you'll be setting hook and the hook's not there. It's not exposed, they haven't gotten to it. So just about, I'd say about that size roughly, which is my first time using this kind of hook. So, so it could use more weight. And right there. Okay. And we'll stick this rod down in there like that. This is the one with a little less weight on there. I think it's only got, I think these are quarter ounce weights. I didn't read. And we'll throw that guy down river. Oh, got our bell set up. So a lot of people attach to the rod, but it put the string through it actually. But so when if something hits the line, it's actually pulling on the string and it's gonna ring that bell a lot better. So just a little tip for you guys. I can't even make this stuff up guys. I literally was reeling in my rod to, to change spots <laughs> and this guy was on there. It didn't even feel like he was on there. <laughs> Oh man, that's too funny. There's zero fight. Oh, these little guys can freaking poke you though. So let me try to do this without grabbing. Catch you later. Well, we caught one. <laughs> if you even want to count that thing. Oh man. So we're switching up spots. We're going to head over above this where the water gets fast and see if we have any better luck over there. We're gonna make the move. We're going far. Well, we're going away from the bridge. Because one, it's getting annoying. Two, I'm 
trying to get away from where people already fish. You know, people fish all these spots heavily. So I figure, kind of like public hunting, if I can get away from the people, maybe we'll have some better luck. We f***ed up, boys. We're f***ed up. He, maybe he's still on. Maybe. We f***ed up, though. I was so late. Yeah, he's still on. Get up here. All right. All right, guys, so <laughs> took us long enough, but we got this little guy, maybe about a foot, foot long. Listen to him purring. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so a nice little cat. The bite is slow today. <laughs> As you guys saw there, I struggled to get the GoPro on and I totally thought I was gonna lose this fish, but awesome. We did catch one so far. <laughs> Hopefully these fish start turning on. Uh. There's a possum. Yep, still on. Another good size. Blue cat. Not much of a fight on cold days, <laughs> apparently. A ah, little bit bigger. That's number two, guys. Check him out. Listen to him purr. <gasps> These are just absolute beautiful fish. Another good eating size, but we're not doing that today. Come food. Come and get him. Eagle boy. All right. That was cool. Ugh, slimed again. These pants are gonna be trashed. Gotta be quicker than that. All right, we're, we're, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna get him. Give me this nice little hard bean or whatever it is that they use. All right, I compressed this thing on there, so hopefully that'll work. I was literally, I literally just got up because I told myself I'm giving it till 11 or 1.30 and then I'll get up and I'll pull the rods and get right out of here. 1.30 on the dot, I got up. I was just about to pull the pole out of the ground and the bobber shoots up. I had to run back, start the camera for you guys. But as you see, I didn't do so good there. I'm about to grab it. I mean, it was literally like I was just about to grab it and it went whoop. So, I'm pretty sure this one's gonna be empty because I think I saw it dab a few times. So I think something was working it. throw my hood down for the outro but all right guys hope you guys enjoyed this video um hope you learned a little bit it was definitely a tough day it's really cold out here it was definitely a tough day but i had a blast but all right guys i'm gonna start this long trek back to the truck got about a mile to walk so i'll catch you guys out on the line next time